Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Also from my side, is this now enough or not? So is, can you hear me? Okay. Good. Good. Um, yeah. So when when I looked what 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 they gave me as a title, um, I decided to do the the presentation from a dinosaur to the startup on steroids. What I mean by that, I'll explain during the presentation. And um, how is this supposed to work? Ah. Okay. So yeah, the invest just I'll, I'll give you a brief um, brief um, explanation of what I did in the past and um, what we are doing now. Just just to, to to show you, or let's say to establish a little bit maybe a credibility, or whatever, because I would like to make it as as, as pragmatic as possible. Really, first uh, hands on. What I what I was talking about yesterday, what I think is harmful for the crypto community is because it's too idealistic and and you know there are too high expectations and then you have problems because those expectations are not met and then we have a crisis. So what, what I I just copied this from the from the uh, from the web page. Uh, um, what was I what was I doing is I was an investment banker basically for those banks in my in my career um, at the end when I was at Sberbank uh, we did 50 million euro year on year after tax profits in, in 12 departments in, in 12 countries approximately 300 employees and um, the products we did was was um, financial markets derivatives so interest rates uh, options FX options swaps so on and then regulation and inter bank liquidity and, and so on and then uh, for a brief while, that's actually how I get, got, got to know uh, crypto world. I worked for one of the Slovenians, I, successful ICOs, not this one, but um, a sister, let's say, or whatever of this one. Um, what I've put it here, this one is because it was crazy. I was there when, you know, if you raise 20 million in 20 minutes, that was so normal. Um, and then people, it's not about money, it's about people. Um, Luca said it well before, and people who got that kind of money, they started building this. And it's not about this, the startup, it's about this. Starting in a small, literally, this was our office with a microwave and a fridge and a couple of beers inside. And, and, and you start building a product. And um, that's, that's what we are. Basically, we are block ba block, blockchain uh, and artificial-based crypto angel investment startup, which we're going to touch at the moment, just briefly. What we do is um, we are building most, the, the easiest way would be a, a data BNB company. So Airbnb for your data. What, what, what does it mean is same way as you don't sell your apartment, you're renting in a way, same way we are establishing a, a system or we did an MVP where you actually rent your data away, you earn money while you still, while you still um, um, keep your privacy and control over your, over your, over your data. And um, yeah, I, I mentioned briefly this. Um, by the way, if anyone has any questions, just, just feel free to ask. I, I wanted to make this more of an interaction thing um, than anything else. And as I said, um, yeah, this is data owners instead of apartment owners. And there is no data BNB company. And the advantages are those that I mentioned. Um, earn and utilize your data because, you know, your data has a lot of worth. Uh, you have it. When somebody says, "Yeah, hey, I don't want to rent my data away," you are giving it away for free at the moment. As you know, it's a it's a it's a tech uh, it's a tech conference, so I, I'm sure we are all aware of that. And uh, it's illegal for the companies on the other side. Um, so this was actually why I did it. I, uh, this was very short introduction of what what I do because now I'll touch why the the, the topic that that I was um, basically um, supposed to talk about. Um, here is how it works. So if you are a data data hungry company, which you need to 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 have information, because the, the the biggest value is not is not in data but in information. If you need an information, which is basically an analysis, you go to the web page, you rent data sets which you need to perform this analysis and and, and extraction information, and you get for those people, for you and me and everyone else. You know you can rent it from, and we are building an end to end solution where you basically hook your watch or car or fridge or whatever it is to your data vault and that's it. The more devices you have, the more you are worth because this means that you're collecting more data and this data, is, is, as we all know, is very valuable. Otherwise, Facebook and, and stuff wouldn't exist. Um, and why are I emphasizing this? Because this is a blockchain conference. Nobody cares about blockchain, seriously. Who, 
raise your hands who, when, when you Google something now, when, do you think about IPv6, IPv4, uh, HTTPS, anyone? Or you just Google and go, you do? Okay, you're the only one, but 99.9 .9 whatever percent, you don't care. You go to the internet, you browse. It's the same. Peep, blockchain is gonna be cool when nobody gonna, is gonna talk about blockchain. When it's gonna be just another solution when you're gonna transfer money to Africa, you know, in two o'clock AM in the morning and the blockchain is gonna be the base of it and nobody's gonna think about it. Because you don't wanna think about it because 99% of people, you know, doesn't think about HTTPS or whatever the technology is behind whatever. Um, so just to step back, um, regarding the, the, if people are willing to, to sell their data, I'm against selling. We are building a model for renting it. People, for example, if you, you get a Vitality Health, you get an Apple Watch for free. What, what you need to do is you, you, um, you need to have a health insurance for two years and you need, you need to do a, a, enough steps or activity per day. So they're buying your data and, and um, incentivizing you to, you know, to be active because they have a business model behind. And again, nobody asks what behind. A shame with those two is that this Apple Watch that you get from them, you could sell the same data or rent the same data way multiple times. Why just to Vitality or Sweatcoin? You could maybe the, next, the, the second day would be, I don't know, the pharmaceutical company or the third day the health insurance from national company or whatever. So why, you know, the same way as Airbnb, you're renting it an unlimited amount of times. Here it's the same what we are building. You will be able to rent the data unlimited amount of times. And it's so much better than oil. So Luca said it before, or, or apartments, because in apart your apartment, you can rent once per day. Data, you can rent whatever you want. You can rent it 300 million times per day if you have 300 million um, customers to, interested in, in renting your data away. So why do we believe the market trends are on our side? Um, because it happened similar to, you know, hotel chains and Airbnb and taxi companies and Uber and uh, Facebook and the other content agencies and um, also the, the legislation. So the GDPR came and uh, the business model uh, changes. So who's gonna do what Google is doing now and Facebook aggregating the data and uh, you know not giving anything away, you lose all of your control and so on. Anyways, um, the why so so go, going directly to why what, what I was supposed to to say and give you how we went from idea basically what was a year ago to a company which was then valued last July at around three million um, when we did an investment with, um, um, with Eternity the, the Luca that was uh, he was he's our investor. Um, okay, before the seeking investment, what is important? As I said, nobody cares about the technology. Investors, they, they, if you ask Luca or any other angel investor, how are they gonna make money on you? Don't, don't care. Forget about blockchain. We, our, you should see our first pitch. It was personal data world, whatever, whatever. Nobody understood. If I say to you, data BNB, you are Airbnb or data, you know, you exactly know what you're saying. Airbnb is renting apartment away, then I just switch it with the data and everyone knows we are renting data away. Forget about data walled and blockchain based and AI technology, whatever. Nobody cares. People or investors care about money. Um, how are they gonna make money on you? So that's why product and not technology and that's how it's supposed to be the same way with the, with the internet. When you're launching whatever, promising internet company, whatever, you're not mentioning which security protocols you're gonna use. This is second or third layer when they ask you how your product works and then you start explaining. Um, so, Steps would be building investor deck and build it in a way that I, I, I said it. Build it, which problems you are solving and what's your solution and building and, and prove, as Luca said, that there is a market for your idea. Because, you know, as I said, you can, I know this is a kind of a tech conference, um, but when people are saying, yeah, but you know, but you can side chain and child chain and I still don't care. And believe me, if you go now on the streets of Split, 99%, they don't even heard the, b b beyond the Bitcoin, they will say, yeah, blockchain and Bitcoin, that's the same. That's a side chain, chai chain, nobody cares, honestly, from, the, from, the, from this perspective. I mean, yes, developers, of course, but those are not your customers. They, they will not keep you, developers will not keep you alive. They will develop your solution and it, it ends there. The second thing is um, what I would recommend, pitch, 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 and um, adjust your pitch. 
because that's, that's what we did. We started with this data wall, whatever, whatever, and then nobody understood. So we had to think about how we're going to make it more, you know, people going to understand it. Because that's, if people don't understand what you're doing, as an example, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, if the guy is still here, the side chain and child chain and whatever the chain was. A lot of people don't understand, even more don't care. So make it clear how you're going to make money, what you're solving with the simple words, and then be ready for, I know, of course, you don't, don't be a scammer. You have to have answer to every possible question. So once, you know, people start asking you, digging for the details, of course, give them the details and then start talking about uh, side chain and lime chain and, and so on. And yeah, as I said, pitch some more and then go to, con I mean, what we did is we, we went to conferences. We met Luca actually on this conference. Um, I think a month later, we got an uh, invitation to apply to their incubator. Um, and then and ev everything started. So we spent a, a week in Sofia, which was really smart, if you ask me, for, from their side, because it's hard to fake for a week. Um, they invited us as a team, and they saw how we behave as a team, um, because it's all about team. Um, you can have the best idea possible. I, uh, we did so many mistakes with people. In this day and age, the problem with the team is crazy because we are you. The, the, we are used Amazon, where you have next day delivery, and that's how we operate. You know, that's we want to see the results tomorrow. We, nobody would work late or whatever. It's really hard to find people and the team, and that's that's I think what was smart from their side. Um, you know, to get us there. And then on, uh, online applications. What I'm noticing lately, last month. So I guess I, I guess the market is picking up, or whatever I would I would call it. We are getting crazy or amount of of emails where they are inviting us to apply to different get conferences um, to speak and, um, and to apply for the incubators. So the, I, I would conclude that maybe the market is picking up or something. And then I, the, the other lady, the Marina, um, the, the legal lady said that uh, Vienna was a great conference, that Malta is going to be another great conference. So if you're looking for investment, go there and just pitch and see what the, what the just go on the hallways and explain. Just, that's how you have to do. And um, and you know, you're gonna talk to 100 people, maybe 200, and maybe one is gonna be interested or show some interest, but you never know who is the one. Um, I'm coming back to what I said, so make it simple. So everyone understands what Airbnb is, and it's crazy. So if you, you, know, if you would say 15 years ago, um, you're gonna rent your apartment ago, uh, away to some stranger, you're gonna say, come on, are you crazy? And now people are buying apartments to rent them away, rent them away to strangers. It's a business model now. But now, the, the thing is, now everyone understands Airbnb, so use what people can relate to to make it understandable. Um, so that's what we did, basically. Um, and then, the, you know, the tagline, a data BNB company, because everyone knows now, understands what's Airbnb, and then you just, you know, try to make it simple to people. That's how, that's how we work. Um, I stress out the team. Um, it's, it's really hard to find people who, who are going to work. Um, once you're going to get the investment, they're going to know that you got the investment and they're going to come with crazy offers. And you're going to have hard times distinguishing who is who. I was, we were paying 6,000 euros to two persons, supposedly marketing nothing in three months. Just cut it short because you're going to burn money. You know, they're going to smell like, you know, that you got the investment and they're going to knock on your doors and they're going to try to suck it out, cut it short. As soon as they don't perform, they just throw them out, honestly, because they're going to kill you. Um, during the investment process, yeah, what, 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 what happened with us is, uh, you know, they, we had to be pretty patient. Um, a lot of questions, a lot of Excel templates. They are, of course, the investor is always right, so don't argue in, with your investor, even if he is not right. Uh, of course, just say yes at the end, and that's, I think that's the best. Um, because what they told us afterwards, they test you. So they test you, they're going to stress you out, and they see how you're going to react. And that's a, it's a game. Um, because you're going to have pressures when you're going to build your startup. And you know, if you're going to crack under the pressure, that's, that's basically what they're testing. Um, after after, after um, you receive the investment, um, be crazy, be crazy, careful how you're spending your money. Even if you got 150,000 euros, whatever, it seems like a lot of money. I mean, you know, especially if you come out of, come, come as a student, even if you have a company which is like worth, supposedly worth 3 million, whatever, 
I can say for myself or you know saying it openly you're nothing we are nothing you're still nothing you have a company which is agreed to be worth three million euros so what you got 150,000 cash on your account it's nothing believe me you're gonna spend it in six months or maybe nine and then you're gonna sp again be on, on 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 back on you know where you started if you're gonna if you won't do it smart so and be careful for the sharks because once they're gonna see that you got the money on the account everyone's gonna come with a crazy offer because they know that you have liquidity and they have the money um and yes so be prepared for a lot of uh red bulls and sandwiches so that was that's gonna be your regular uh, store visit uh when, once you're gonna build your um well, try to build your company um and hopefully you'll work for this so what what means is for me personally, why, why is this so different than investment banking? It's freedom, it's not about the money. It's freedom and, and you've built something that um, nobody built before. I mean, that you're doing actually good something for the, something, something that, you, that I think is good. Because I don't think investment banking is good. It's, it's, I think it's doing more harm at the moment. It was a very nice idea in the beginning, the stock market, the idea of you know, helping people with raising money um, through stocks and so on, which is great. But now what, what they are doing is our last, I don't know, 50, 70 years, you know, with all the investment, with all the, with all the um, um, financial derivati derivatives, it's, it's crazy, it's just doing harm. The stock exchange and a real economy almost doesn't have, almost have no correlation. You know, stock indices were, were, indices were making uh, all-time record highs, well, our economy was still barely recovering. So it's, it's and now they're all talking about the, the new crisis is coming, and we are all living nice, you know what I'm saying? Everyone is still spending. Um, there, are, there are no real economy effects of, let's, let's put it this way, of any crisis. They start, uh, they start uh, the rumors and then people st stop, uh, stop spending. And of course, then you have a downward, down, downward cycle until they start saying, now, it's, now you know, now you should start spending again. So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it from my side. If there are any questions or debates or anything, um, I'm, 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 of course, open to answer or, or debate or I hope I, yeah. Can you share with us how much money did you raise? Yeah, 150. 150 yeah. euros? No, yeah, 1,000, 150, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know there are companies here that raise 150 million euros in two, three, five minutes. Yeah, I know, I know. <coughs> yeah, 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 that, those were the ICOs. We, were, we, we didn't, do, didn't do ICO. Yeah, I know. ICOs, I, I've been working when I stopped my um, investment banking career. I, I already started my startups. And then they invited me for one of the Slovenian startups. They were also raised like 10 or something million. It's not about the money, believe me. And um, you can have 150 million, but if you don't have the team, you're going to just spend it. You're, gonna, you're an idiot or they are an idiot, so whatever. I was working for one of them. We were supposed to build a product nobody really understood. Um, if you start digging in, into that product, it didn't make sense. Um, and the main thing when you came to the office was the, was the television with a chart of their coin price. So you know what I'm saying. They had 10 million, they had, actually they had, they did an ICO I think two years ago where there, there were low prices. At the peak of their, at the peak of their value they had 50 million you know, 50 million of, I think, Ether and Bitcoin. And then they, I think it went down all the way to, to whatever, five maybe. So, but, but, but of course nobody sold at 50 because they all thought that they're gonna have 500. So even that is really, from, from the investor perspective, is really um, not how it's supposed to be done because they gave you money um, for building the product, not to speculate if you're gonna make 50 or 500 out of 10 million. And if you ask me, theoretically, they should sell immediately Bitcoins and Ethers and go to, to fiat, as, as strange as it sounds. And the reason is because you pay all the invoices with the fiat. And that's how you're gonna develop your product. You won't develop your product with Ethers and Bitcoins, but you're gonna develop with fiat, unfortunately. If the fiat would be, sorry, if the, if the cryptocurrencies would be the main, um, um, payment payment instruments, then of course keep it, but they're not. So yeah, that's that's. Um, I know I know a lot of projects. Yeah, they they even raised billion. You know, Telegram raised two billion. But it was a different world back then. So.
Maybe it's still going to be some days. I don't know. But it's not about you know how much you raised. It's about what you're building. This is about this is startup. The rest is a gamble. And this is a, it's a, it's a pity that uh, crypto world in a way lost this, because crypto world it was it's supposed to be you know to be a, for a better good or whatever. But it's now it's now all I'm listening to it's speculation. Who has the better? Um, uh, and I was doing that. I mean, not for the crypto, but who has the better um, you know trading system on the crypto? Come on, it's crazy. What kind of trading system there is? It's not a, a real uh, even a real asset, and and the liquidity is not good enough to, to run any proper technical analysis, especially on the altcoins. So, but okay, that's, that's, that's the world. And I think that's, that's, that's the part that I think I, it, may, it, it does more harm than good for the overall development. For example, when they were compa comparing blockchain with the internet. So when did you hear about internet being traded? Yeah, you, of course they traded companies on the internet, but so. All right, questions? Thanks for the for the attention.